Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I am excited about today because, you know, I put Ivy and Aries together, my two green anacondas, but I was curious to see how their behavior was gonna be. So today, we get an opportunity to get inside with them and see how they're gonna act. Ivy is actually up on land right now and Aries is in the water. So I'm gonna go and interact with Ivy first. Hopefully she hasn't changed her personality and I don't get a fight, you know what I mean? But then I'm sure she's probably gonna go in the water and I'm gonna spend some time in the water with them. I wanna see both their behaviors, make sure they stay that same docile animal. So I'm gonna crawl inside right now and kinda of just go in. You can see Ivy is just chilling out over here. So I'm gonna come up and I'm just gonna hang out with her right here. First thing I'm gonna do is just sit down and let her know that I'm here and not do much of anything. Now the two things I'm really curious about is number one, behavior with these guys. Have they changed? Is Ivy still gonna be the same curious, amazing animal she always is? Is Aries gonna change? And then secondly, feeding these guys. How am I gonna feed them together? So I think that if Ivy isn't going to shed, but she's looking a little bit dull, in the next couple days, I'm gonna feed Aries and Ivy together in this enclosure and see what happens. But for now, I'm just gonna spend some time with my girl Ivy. I'm gonna come over to her real gently, let her know that I'm here. Hey Ivy, hey baby girl, hi. I'm here baby, I know. I'll just pet her really quickly. Right now, good signs. She's not doing really anything that I wouldn't expect her to do. She's just very curious and just hanging out with me, that's for sure. So I'm gonna just, again, just spend as much time in here as I need to. I might spend the next hour or even two hours in here just really waiting and seeing what happens. Aries is over here in the corner. He seems to be fine. I'm a little bit more concerned about Aries' behavior than I'm Ivy's behavior, although don't get me wrong, I wanted to make sure that Ivy was gonna be the amazing animal she is. And you can see she's just slowly moving towards the water. That's good, I mean, I'm good with that. And if she goes in the water, rather than coming over to me, I'm gonna go in the water with her. Right now, my feet are just hanging out here. She's going down the waterfall. What an amazing experience. I tell you what, being in with a big green anaconda is just crazy cool. And I'm glad that right now, at least, Ivy seems to be really, really calm and placid like she always is. And again, Aries doesn't seem to make mine so much, but we'll see what happens when they both get in the water. I'm gonna let her go completely in the water before I go in, because I want this to be a slow process, you know? She sees my feet down here, she's gonna swim around. She is so amazing. I mean, guys, you don't understand the feeling I get right now, that euphorism. Look, she's right down by my feet. She's just kind of checking everything out. It's just, it's crazy. I love this experience, and I'm just gonna see what she has going on. Slowly let them do it. Again, I want them to understand that I'm coming into their environment, I'm not a threat, and I wanna make sure that their behavior is great. So we're gonna definitely get an opportunity to get in the water here in a few minutes and see how they're gonna interact with us. And again, I think as she's going in, I'm just gonna slowly nuzzle myself down. Nothing too quick. Again, slow process. Again, I don't want her to get upset, so I'm gonna just kinda of go in this far so right now. Put my hand over here in the water with her. See, she's coming up. She's just saying, hey, what's up, Dad? What are you doing here? Completely natural. Look at, she just came right over to me. Hey, baby girl. Hi, sweetheart. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Guys, she's literally like pressing against my hand right now. She's like making the movement towards my hand. Now she's on my feet, she's just moving around. She just seems to be really chill. So again, now the next step is I'm gonna spend some time with Ivy over here and then I'm gonna go over to Aries here in a little bit and see how he's gonna to react to me. This will be the first time he's interacting with anybody since he's been in the new enclosure. So we don't know what's gonna happen. So far, Ivy's looking good. Let's go ahead, get in the water and see what happens. I'm just gonna settle myself down in here. She actually is touching my knee right now. She's coming up. Oh my gosh, this is such an awesome experience. Look at her, she's just kind of investigating me. She's climbing up, all the way up. What's she gonna do? Oh my goodness gracious. This is what I was hoping for, guys, though. I was hoping that she was gonna wanna really understand what I was doing, and she doesn't show any aggression. That curiosity that I was hoping she was gonna keep is still here, even with Aries in the cave. What a great experience this is. Oh my God, my baby. Wow. Just absolutely breathtaking. I'm just gonna lift her up a little bit. Just let her know that I'm here. Hey, baby girl. How's my Ivy doing? Hi, baby girl. This is just such a crazy experience to see a big anaconda 
just so calm in the water with me. Just crawling around, curious. And again, I was a little bit nervous about how Ivy was gonna react when Aries was in here. And obviously, she hasn't changed her disposition at all. She's still my beautiful big anaconda. And I've said it a million times, she's my therapy animal for sure. There's just something that's so calm and so amazing. Her energy is like nothing I've ever felt with another reptile. And look, at she's just chilling out. She just climbed up on me like this, and now she's just kind of hanging out. She's over by Aries. I don't know if she's going to climb out of the water now, now that she's kind of investigated and done her thing, or if she's going to want to stay with me. I'll just, like I said, spend as much time in here as I need to. I'm in no hurry, and I'm loving this experience. But once I spend some time with Ivy, the big challenge is going to be, how's Aries going to be with me in the water with him? I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous about taking a nip from him. I don't know how he's going to react, but I'm just enjoying my time with Ivy right now for sure. There she comes. He's definitely on the move. He's definitely on the move. What he's doing, I can't tell. Aries is coming over. I can see him coming towards me right now, guys. Aries is on his way. He's sniffing. He knows I'm in the water. And like I said, I don't know what is going to happen. I mean, he could come over and just decide to take a nip at me at any point. I don't know. To see me. And I'm just going to sit quiet in here. But here comes Ivy first. My baby. Hi, baby girl. Hi, sweetie. Oh, my gosh. And if you notice, I'm trying not to even really touch them very much at the beginning. Because I just want to be part of the environment, right? I want them to come and investigate me. And Aries is definitely coming over. He knows I'm here. He keeps smelling, but he kind of keeps away. Whereas Ivy is so comfortable with me, she came right up to me, crawled right over me. I know he's thinking, like, what is going on? First, he gets into this huge new enclosure. Now all of a sudden, some guy is swimming with him. But eventually, I'm going to go over and spend some time with Aries. But right now, look at her. Look at my girl. Again, she's not trying to get away. She just keeps coming back to me over and over again. And that's what I find amazing. Because you just don't think about that with snakes, right? You don't think that a snake is curious about you. You think they're going to only want to go away from you. All right, guys. I think it's time. I think it's time to see how Aries is going to do. I was actually going to go over and see Aries, but he's actually coming to me right now. So I think I'm going to let him come over and investigate before I do it. He's right by my knee now. He's right by my knee. Oh, he's smelling me. This is freaky, guys. I don't know him like I know... Oh, he's on my knee. I don't know him like I know Ivy, so I don't know what his actions are going to be. He's literally snipping my knee right now. I can feel his tongue tickling my leg. He's coming up my leg just like her. Again, I know Ivy well. I don't know this guy. I don't know what he's going to do. I can, it's so weird. You can feel his tongue. It's so ticklish on my knee. I'm trying not to make sudden movements at all because I want him to be super comfortable with me. He doesn't seem to be showing any signs of aggression at all. He just really seems to be curious. And I'm so happy that Aries seems to be just as curious as Ivy. I literally don't even want to move. I don't want to touch anything. I just want to be here. I want to be in the moment and enjoy this. This is amazing. Here comes Ivy around the corner. Aries over here. What's going to happen? Oh my goodness gracious. What in the world? It just, it doesn't, just, this literally doesn't seem like real life. I mean, it doesn't feel like real life to me. I'm in the water with two anacondas and they're just kind of checking things out. They're coming over. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hi Ivy, hi baby girl. Hi baby. Hi baby. Hi baby. Look at her. Look at her. I don't know guys, insane. Absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and just kind of touch Aries for the first time. I'm just going to slowly pick him up to see what he's going to do. Hey, buddy. He doesn't seem to have any concern at all. Look at him. Hey, bud. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool, guys. Can you imagine if these guys have babies? How tame they're going to be? Because snakes will pass behavior on, right? They'll pass on that, that temperament. 
And both Aries and Ivy are so amazing. I couldn't be more happy. I was nervous about this. I had a hard time sleeping last night because I was thinking about all the things. I'm thinking like, what if they change their temperament? What if they're upset? But look at this. This was a dream come true, guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is one step closer to my dream of allowing people to swim with my anaconda. If I can keep doing this, I really think we can get them socialized and habituated so that people can have this experience one day. Wow. This is everything and more than I could have ever imagined. So there it is, guys. We did it. It worked. Aries and Ivy are both amazing. Being together hasn't changed their temperament at all. They're still curious, they're still amazing. Wow, this is pretty cool. I might hang out here for just a little while longer just for me, and then we'll get on with the rest of our day, but wow, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and let me know if you're excited about potentially doing this in the future. Would you wanna get in with Aries and Ivy? Because I wanna make that happen. So let me know in the comments what you think, if you would do it, because trust me, guys, one of the coolest things I've ever done in my entire life. This clutch hatched out was crazy cool. This was actually a pastel to a pin calico yellow belly, and we were really looking for the lemon blast calico yellow bellies, and sure enough, we hit some of them right here. This is one of them right here. This is, again, a pastel, it's a pinstripe, it's a calico, and it's a yellow belly, and that thing is ridiculous. And we actually hit a couple of them in this clutch. This is another one right here that looks so good. I mean, I'm telling you, with these guys shed out, just get a little size to them, they are gonna be on fire. We hatched these a few years ago, and it was one of my favorite snakes that we ever hatched, ever. So I'm super excited that we hatched some more of them. And then we just ended up hatching some lemon blast yellow bellies, another lemon blast yellow belly right here, which is really cool. It's just minus the calico. And then actually this one is super dope too. This is actually a pastel calico yellow belly right here. So again, it doesn't have the pinstripe in it, but it has a bunch of cool stuff. So nevertheless, even this here, this is actually just a pinstripe calico. The calico doesn't mix really well with the normal pinstripe, but you can still see it's pretty cool. So I was super happy that we hit a couple of the lemon blessed calico yellow bellies that we were shooting for this year. And I think we still have one or two more clutches that could produce more of them. These guys are absolutely ridiculous. This is actually a relative simple clutch. This is just an Abbott's Oka Tea corn bread to an Abbott's Oka Tea. So these aren't heifer scaleless, they're not scaleless, anything like that. Just some really great classic Abbott's Oka Tea corn snakes. I've always said the Abbott's Oka Teas are kind of the best classic normal wild type corn snake you can get. The Oka Tea stuff is often known as kind of the locality for the nicest corn snakes. And then Lee Abbott actually line bred them to be kind of the most beautiful wide black saddles and stuff like that. So these guys are going to be absolutely incredible when they get bigger. So I'm happy that we produce some. Here's actually a head strawberry sun kiss clutch. So we have a lot of variety here. We have some ghost corns here. We have a little snow corn right here. We have some diffuse corns that you can see over here. Some strawberry stuff. Another ghost thing right like that. And that strawberry stuff is a recessive kind of hypo-ish type of thing. And then there's some sun kiss, which is another recessive mutation. So a bunch of just variety in here. Kind of neat. We're going to have to take each one of these out and really take a look at them to see which one carries the sun kiss and which one carries the strawberry gene. And it's interesting interesting that there's obviously annery and snow in this as well because we have anneries and snow. So it's always kind of interesting when you're hatching corn snakes because you never know what you're going to actually get. Holy moly, was that experience amazing with my anacondas? I tell you what, that, that was absolutely incredible. If you enjoyed this vlog, uh, here's a playlist of me playing with big giant snakes and big lizards and stuff like that. I think you guys will enjoy it. Up here, can you do me a favor and subscribe to my podcast channel? Every Wednesday we have a podcast on Fridays. Noah does, but that's adult friendly only. On this side, you can subscribe to this vlog channel. Please turn your post notifications on to everything. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.